so I'm starting over here in one of my favorite aisles, the wood aisle. Oh, I see a, I see a cookie monster down there that could actually have some value. Ooh, Noah, did you see these? These are really pretty too. I think I looked at these last time I was here, but they're just painted. Over here in the pillows, uh, there's a lot of them. This one's cool. It is a really beautiful Sunday on a holiday weekend and I am going to Goodwill, but I am not alone. Look who is finally with me again. He hasn't wanted to go. How come? I'm here now. You are here now. But tell him why you haven't wanted to go. I've been wanting to cook. And she goes when I cook. And you have a certain little, like, racing setup thing that you spend lots of time on? They yeah. know because they hear it on my lives. Our walls are thin. <laughs> yeah, so he's been very, very involved in his his sim racing and using his little... Having lots of fun with that. Yes. So I've let him off the hook a lot. But today, I said, no, no. You do not get let off the hook. You go with me to the Goodwill. I never force him. To, like, I'm just waiting. I'll get the comments. Like, you shouldn't make him go. No, no, no. Am I forcing you? No, no. He's going. And you can't see her, but we also have Rachel in the back seat. So this is a family affair today. So we're going to go in and just... Uh, we're going to get shop done. Have a little fun. And there might be a little Noah cam happening. I'm just saying. So stay tuned for that. Now, let's get shop done. Let's get shop done. Who's picking the lucky cart? Not me. Noah is. That one? No, he says it's this one. All right, we got lots of Christmas mm -hmm. stuff out here. These are like little Christmas, almost like little Christmas fairy lamp guys here. But they're just marked. Well, they're not even marked anywhere that we can see. They seem a little bit cheaply done though. Why do they already have Christmas out? Christmas in July, baby, Christmas in July. I don't understand. It's a thing, it's a thing. I guess it's not a thing everywhere. Because I have been asked some questions about it. I don't know. It's just like a marketing thing. It's weird. Rachel says it's weird. So for those of you thinking that Christmas in July is weird, pretty. Rachel concurs. Pretty. That is very pretty. So I'm starting over here in one of my favorite aisles, the wood aisle. I'm not seeing a whole lot so far. I've been walking around trying to figure out where stuff is. I don't usually use a GoPro to record for Noah Cam, so this is different. Snowman! Look at it's Priscilla Cat. We have a Priscilla Tortoise. Holiday Memories Collector Ornament. Oh, it's little, little trains. Wow, that is potent. What is, what's the flavor on that? Twisted peppermint. It Ooh, weird. it is strong. That's why we don't do candles. Oh, this I believe is the brand that does pretty good. This Grandeur, Grandeur Noel. This is a 2000 edition Santa Claus. I'm not gonna get that, but that is a brand to kind of be on the lookout for and to look up when you find it because some of the pieces sell for some really, really good money. These are kind of nice. Christmassy mugs. Hey Noah, do you know about Christmas in July? Yeah, we talk about it all the time. Oh, only because I talk about it? That's the only way you know? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
What are you we finding? We should get this and put it on Ozzy. Ozzy needs a bell. I don't think Ozzy needs bells. <laughs> I really don't. It's a Santa Rex mug. 12 ounce. It's sealed. I kind of need him for $3.99. Oh, that's kind of a cute little wreath kind of project-y thing. I like that tree topper. I am not ready to even think about decorating my own self for Christmas yet. I just can't. <laughs> oh, nope, I can't do it. Oh, he's he's super adorable. He looks like he came from Target. He was $14.95, wherever he came from. And then this looks like an older piece but it's missing. I think it would have had like the windmilly thing up here and the candles go here and the heat makes it go and there's he's been beheaded what did you find? and he's been offed and and the rest are just singing around him. It's a sad thing. I'm gonna skim through the books. There's a lot of books here and I've got a shelf with books on it because I do read occasionally. But I'm not seeing a whole lot. But there's art. Let's dig through the art. Uh, that might be a piece Danny likes. These are all big art and big art. It's hard to store and sell. Candy canes. Are those light up ones, Rachel? Or are they just... No, they don't. Oh, and they don't have any way to stick them into the ground either. And our ground is so hard, you need like a stake to get them into the ground. Or a shovel. Or a shovel. But then you'd have to be able to dig, and digging isn't a really good thing in our dirt. All right. Oh, I see a, I see a cookie monster down there that could actually have some value. He is a Kurt Adler light up cookie monster. $7.99. I'm gonna look him up actually. So this is very interesting. I suspect that he's kind of pulled out of the box and stuff because other resellers may have been trying to look him up. That or he's just still put together and he doesn't fit in this box. But here's the thing. You really can't find too much about him. But what I did find with a... What I did find was that Walmart is selling this for $71. So, uh, I know even on the used market at $7.99, which, ah, his tag is coming off. At $7.99, I'm going to be able to get probably 30 40 maybe even a little more if I dig I'm gonna go home after I buy him and I'm gonna look on worth point and kind of see some more history but that's a really really good buy so I have sent the kids onto a challenge a new card of stuff just came out and I said go find something you think I would buy and I haven't even looked over there although I see him see him over there shopping Rachel's coming back with her first item. Oh, oh, gosh, he's so heavy. I almost dropped him. Actually, he's a really, really nice owl, Rachel. I like him a lot. He is, um, he's chalkware. And I do believe he's vintage. Now he is $12.99. But he's pretty awesome. Oh, yes, he's heavy. Oh, and he's felted underneath. Now, I don't often talk about it, but here in Las Vegas, we do get 20% off as seniors. Um, I think I'm going to splurge on this guy. I think that's an excellent, excellent find, Rachel. Noah, what did you bring? Rachel stole my find. I did not. You were looking at she mugs. She stole my find. Oh, no. They're going to fight over who saw it first. Are you coming back empty-handed? I am. Oh. No, I can grab it. Oh. It has a little dent on it. The owl caused issues. All right, he is a little on the heavy side, so I'll probably try to sell him down at the booth locally first. 
I could ship them. I mean, I can ship just about anything, but a shipping cost will be pretty high. Hey, Rachel, are these bird perches? No, they're just dowels. Thought maybe. I thought maybe. Dowel perches aren't good. They're not good. Well, they not as an only them. perch, but we have other perches, so it wouldn't be the only perch. <gasps> Give me a. Give me a. You can't even hear her. She's being very, very quiet. One more chance, Rachel. Give me a. She says no. Give me an in. Aw. It's a little baby Jesus. All right. Let's keep on moving. Oh. Here. It's a cute little Mickey Mouse. And this is not, oh gosh, now the term is leaving my brain. It's not marquetry. It's not parquetry. It's something else. And it'll come to me by the time I do the recap. Because I will be picking up this little cowboy Mickey Mouse for $4.99. Alright, I'm skipping a little bit ahead. I found these over here. Which looks like they might be something. They are made in China, but they look, they look like they have some quality to them. So I'm going to point them out to Danny and see what she thinks once she gets over here. Other than that, going over this way, I see, I see little figurines made out of what feels like wood. It sounds like wood too. This is probably a little wooden set, which might might be something. I'm not actually sure. I'm still learning how to find the good finds. But yeah. And then we have this. If she liked the owl, I think she's gonna like this. Fine, Noah. Birds. Have you redeemed yourself? Oh, I, I'm pretty much thinking you've redeemed yourself. And it is. It's 599 uh, red tag, which red means tag. there's no discount, but but it's cockatoos. I didn't see any damage on it either. No, he's pretty small. There's one one little tiny oh, thing little here right there. on the back, but other than that, he's awesome. Good find. And then we just found this guy. Oh my goodness. It's a little bulldog puppy in a swing. It does have a Ron Schmidt. I think I saw something on the back too. Maybe Noah can help you flip it over because she says it's heavy. Yes, look. Loose leashes. Ron Schmidt. Everyone has a favorite. And then how much is it? Oh, look at the original price tag on that. $84.99? And now it's $9.99. That's a score. We're taking him home. Look at these, just little rocks. Little rocks. Oh, didn't I just buy a whole bunch of these? I just bought a whole bunch of these rocks. Actually, I can never have too many river rocks. I put these around the tortoise waters to keep the dirt out. I'm not getting the white ones because I'm not sure if those are like coated with something or if they're natural. I do like this piece. It's just a little made in China, but um, you know, I do like an ocean decor in my downstairs around my aquariums. I love the pink interior of this. Rachel could, this is like a, a raw bisque. Rachel could actually paint something on this for me if I wanted her to. $2.99. I'm picking him up too. Ooh, Noah, did you see these? I'm liking these. I bet you didn't even see them. Let's see what Noah thinks. I like them too. You like them too? I like them too. I, I really, they can go on the back porch. Those are good back porch plants. We're grabbing those. All right, pretty pink flowers. What do we got over here? Start inside, plant, you want to plant your own coffee? No. <laughs> you could brew coffee that you grew. No. No, doesn't, doesn't appeal to you. How about a cornucopia? Also no. That's also a no. Okay, well. I like these. Let's see here you are, kind of just a plain vase. 
Oh, there's some poo right there on the shelf. That's plastic. Plastic. Nice little, oh, what is that? Oh, it's magnetic. That's I thought it was a face at first, but it's not. It's a, it's magnetic. Um, these are designed to be put, um, what is it called? What is it called when you, it's not a, a burial plot. It's the, it's, um, oh gosh, somebody help me in the comments with what that's called. But these are meant for loved ones to put flowers in to go on the outside of those. So I'll leave that for someone who needs to find that. There was another one. Oh, look at score, baby, score. More plants for mama. Those are nice. Do you have a name? You do not have a name. You're just nice. I'm going to get back to this big old apple, glass apple jar that had candles in it that burned like all the way down to nothing. That would actually clean out, isn't it? What's the color? Let me go check. Who check the color? I thought, I'm confused. It was orange somewhere else, but I don't know if it's orange here. It is orange. It is orange? It is orange. Oh, it is orange. So he's only three bucks. I think we can clean that up. So I'm gonna get the apple. What did you find, my dear? That, that's kind of cool, actually. It does. It's cards on the side and it's the king of hearts with dice. Is the finial? What's the bottom look like? It's not an old piece, but it's a super cool piece for $5.99. I think that's a winner. Good job. Just a cute little ducky candle. You were already having to rearrange the cart for, for the little jungle that we've put inside. a big heavy piece. What's this guy? This guy was made for hanging. Ooh. Ooh. You are signed. Are you a... It says USA. This is what caught my attention. Looks a lot like the Alaskan art that I just recently sold. So, $7.99. We are going to pick up this nice piece. So I'm over here in the cooking gadget trees. I'm gonna look through these because I know Danny doesn't really look through them. And I'm the, the chef of the house. So if I can find something, I would be happy. But I'm not seeing a whole lot. We have crock pots, we certainly have toasters, and I already have a coffee maker. There's a lot of coffee makers over here. A little bit further down there's microwaves, but we also already have a microwave. We don't need that. And now I've jumped all the way over to all the board games. We do family game night at our house. So board games are actually something nice. I do see Sorry. Sorry is fun. If all the pieces are here, I might be able to convince Danny to buy it. But only if the pieces are there. I don't know that they are. That box is very well used. A whole bunch of other board games. I'm not seeing a whole lot. Let me go further this way though. There's some more stuff. A whole bunch of toys. I'm not seeing anything vintage though. I'm seeing a cute little dog. Rachel might look at this one. And a little monkey with a bow tie. Other than that, I'm not seeing a whole lot. I thought these were pewter and they're not. They're resin. I was thinking like, oh, if those were little pewter castles, we would have picked those up. But they're not. Fish. You see a fish? Yeah. That is a fish. Kind of like a like a TJ Maxx home goods kind of fish. These are willow tree little guys, I think. Oh, she's got a broken hand. But yep, brother and sister. That was kind of nice. What? This, I think it's enamel over copper. 
It's a little enamel over copper piece. Unfortunately, it does have a little ding, but you can see the copper underneath there. That's how you do know it's enamel over copper. May even be a signature under there, but you know what? For uh, two bucks, I'm gonna pick it up. It's beautiful. All right. Well, we're on a roll. We're only on the second row and our cart is quite full already. Nice shell dish. I like it, but I'm gonna leave that one. Did you see Schmoops the puppy? Villainous Valentines? Collect them all. Oh, she's not impressed. She is not impressed by the puppy. What are you? Looks like a little handmade piece. Little hobby piece. Okay, let's see if they left anything good here in the uh, baskets that came out. That's Lennox Butterfly Meadows, which is good, but I don't need just one piece. Oh, my kids are uh, pretty discriminating. I think they did good. Okay. All right, rolling through the plastics. Nothing exciting? Nothing exciting. Nice little hobby bowl. Okay, not seeing too much here to even grab my attention. So maybe this little piece here, signed, but I'll put it down here so it gets some more attention. Are those wood? What are those made of? They're plastic. Wow, those are different. Another pretty Bavarian plate, 1986. 1986 just doesn't seem that long ago, but yet it truly is. This caught my eye. Look at this bowl. It is large, like large, and it's a little bit like kind of textured. It's kind of interesting. It makes you uh, ceramica wear. Made in Italy. Oh, it is nice, but definitely not something I'd want to ship. All right, let's see if there's anything special in the glass. Oh, you do know I love these. I can't remember if this is the store these were at the last time I was. You know what it is because now they're half price. And there's a whole set of four. I know, and I passed them up last time, but you know what? I can't pass them up at half price. They're a buck a piece. Coming with me. These are really pretty too. I think I looked at these last time I was here, but they're just painted. It's not the, not the color of the glass. are so purple. So purple. See anything? What does that say? Hawaii. I do not know what that logo is. Oh, let's say something. What do they say? Some kind of tequila. Tequila. I don't do tequila. Oh, it's another little fox. This one's got a little, is that a chip on his nose or is that? It feels glazed over. I think it's just a little a little shiner. Oh, but that's definitely a chip, so. It's a Walmart mug? That's okay. 
Sometimes you just get it because it's a fox and it's cute and people buy it because it's cute. You just don't get as much money as if it's a good brand. How to eat lobster? How do you eat lobster? It's got lobster eating instructions on it. I like that mug for 99 cents. I wonder if Noah's already been through here and looked at all the kitchen stuff. Ooh, that's Blendo. That is a Blendo glass. Would have had some cups to go with it. I never know if the scratches in these can be kind of fixed up and it's pretty scratched. And it's a large item that doesn't sell for a whole lot. So I'm going to leave it because it would be like a booth item. And I'm not really looking to pick up any booth items today unless, you know, they're like super spectacular. That is a large gravy boat. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that's an interesting canister. I'm really intrigued by the lid and the texture, but again, large piece that I don't really want to deal with. This is uh, Indiana glass and it's fairly common. So we will pass on that too. And I think that was about it on these shelves. So I'm gonna quickly skim through all the electronics. There's a whole bunch of them, but none are really catching my interest. This may be a little bit, but it doesn't look like any recognizable brand and these are just cheap keyboards you can buy for like two bucks oh uh, this one right here looks like a little bit more but again you can tell just by pressing the key how how expensive it is because the more expensive keys feel better all right well i think that's it for the electronics let's see if there's any goodies on the mishmash shelves bathroom stuff it's just mishmash today just mishmash now we're in the craft section what is what is that mongolian chop squad music is life i have it looks oh like it's a lunchbox it's not a lunchbox it's um is it like a CD store? It would have had guitar pick. I was reading that. <laughs> a sticker sheet, DVDs. Oh, so it's what DVDs and stuff it's came a in. Box that came with a whole bunch yeah, of Yeah, it had goodies in it once upon a time. But Jeff Beck is a big name in the music world, so look how cute those are. Oh, those are really cute. I don't really have anything that I send thank you cards with though. I do my thank yous on my packing slips. I do say thank you, but it's on my packing slips. Wait, did I see a mushroom? Hold the fort. Let's take a peeky peek here. Oh no, it's, it's like Southwest pottery. And is it finished? What is it? It is a completed one. It's just a needle point with I can't tell if it's done or not because there's spaces that look like it, it might like have still, yeah, down. and it's still, all right, we're going to stuff that back in there. I see pizza. You see pizza? You see pizza? I see pizza. I see pizza. What is it? Oh, they're book covers. Book covers. Mm. Counting the, gate, the days. Just kidding. I love school. <laughs> My kids don't have to worry about that. I do not make them cover their books. Wait, you don't have books. I have books. You have books? I have a shelf full. Of for books. school, for school, babe, for school. I have school. Books. Am I in your way? You are in my way. I'm just gonna push right through you. Be careful, because I'm gonna show you on camera and show everybody what you're doing to me right now. She's standing in my way and making me shove through her. It's one of those pencil sharpeners. It is a pencil it's sharpener. Out out. Oh yeah. Always oh, lots of school stuff when school gets out. 
I found is it it's not painted though. It looks like it's like printed on there. What the heck? Oh, it's made that way. It's a Hobby Lobby piece. That's why. All right. I do see some lamps over here. I'm not seeing a whole lot about them that uh, calling out yet. And then some lights over here. Some lamps further up, but I'm not seeing a ton. This one sticks out a little bit, but it feels cheap and you can see it's painted. It's painted to be white. Is it not worth? Oh, I see lights coming on. Yeah, but it's not lighting up up here. Are we sure? Wait, do it again. I see it on the bottom one. Some of the bottom ones are working, but. I think it is. I think it's just too light in here to see it. Maybe these. Oh, yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, these fiber optic lamps can be bank. Is this an older oh, no, one? This, this pink one isn't working. This is an older. It might just be a little connection issue that is easily fixed. It's a music box one too, and it's only seven ninety nine. So we're gonna grab that. I have just been corrected that Rachel found that, not Noah. Noah was just testing it. I see some little sheep salt and peppers, but they are not that special. And oh, he found our cart. Yay. Oh, I know he's going to say it. I know he is. You picked the little white one? You, mean you didn't one? pick like the pirate one back there? Oh, it's that's a flag. Never mind. <laughs> I do not need an umbrella. Do not open that in the store. Don't do it. Over here in the pillows, uh, there's a lot of them. This one's cool. Doesn't seem like anything special though. Danny will probably come back through here and find what I missed. Because I don't find everything. I find one or two things maybe. And a whole bunch of baggies full of goodies. But not any goodies that I want. Looks like Carrie would be interested in it, though. All right, any exciting pillows? I went through here. And I think it you went through here and didn't see anything? Well, let's see. I don't think there was anything here in the pillows to find. Nope. Nothing today. That is like some hot, hot pink right there. What is that? It's new with tags, whatever it is. What is it? It's a, uh, oh, it's Victoria's Secret. But what is it? I'm aware I'm in the blankets and comforters aisle. This was $65, but I don't know what it is. Stand by. Got it. Oh, it's I don't know what it is. That's a very bright blanket. It's not a blanket. I don't Shower know curtains? It no. It's the mat. It's the mat. I finished going through the shoes. I didn't find a whole lot. I'm still on the hunt for carding shoes. Especially carding shoes that match my gloves because my gloves are orange. I don't want like purple shoes to match with the orange, but I'm not seeing a whole lot here. I went all around, so looks like I'll find them another day. All right, we're gonna just really quickly hit the purses over here and see if there's anything. Any scores? Any, scores? any hidden treasure? Do you see anything, Noah? Uh, Anything that tickles your fancy? What do you think? This one looks like it might be something though. Oh, you know, well, that would be the one that I would look at too. It's got wooden handles. And it's got shell flowers. That looks handmade. I think that's a pretty good, can you open it up and let's peek on the inside. Sometimes it'll have a brand or name or... I'm pretty sure it's handmade. I don't know that it's handmade, but... What I'm trying to figure out is if it's vintage. It's 
pretty interesting. I just don't know if it's $7.99 interesting because that handle's a little messed up. Mm, I think we're going to leave it. It's not super exciting to me, but it's a good find. It's a pickup if it ever goes on sale. There you go. All right, well, here's, here's the cart. Not a whole lot, but we got some good things. And I got a hat for Sunny. I don't know how good this is, but it's new with tags and it's Lincoln. And I know, you know what? Lincolns are expensive. So uh, I always the hats as expensive as the thing. I always tease and tell him I'm giving him gas money because he won't take gas money from me. So I load him up with some goodies. Anyway, so this is everything we bought. Obviously, the plants I bought for myself, but everything else will be in the recap. I'll tell you what I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth on eBay and other resale sites based on researching sold comps. actual sold comps. All right, get ready for that coming up right now. Right now. <laughs> camera hog you uh spent like 85 dollars total and Somewhere i and i found a, a blouse i'm sitting there checking out and i looked over and i saw this really colorful coral blouse that i grabbed too so super happy with those finds the kids did spectacular i think you guys found the best things that little flower lamp was broken oh yeah we put it back it was completely cracked on the bottom and we didn't see it until we got to the checkout but those fiber optic flower lamps you guys if you find them in good condition they're pick expensive up, pick them up pick them up i showed a comp on the screen just to give you an idea i try to do that for you guys if there's something that i don't pick up and i can find it fairly easily <laughs> uh so yeah so we are headed out i gotta go drop these guys off for them to go celebrate fourth of july with their dad and I'm going to stay home and take care of all of the critters who are probably going to be scared out of their minds. Um, but it's fortunately just one day. Oh, yeah. Fireworks. Fireworks. So, But by the time you're seeing this, that's over with. So we're all good and we made it through. All right, guys. You. Go be profitable. And make it fun. We even... will see you on the next one. He doesn't even let me say it anymore that what he said so this is cheeto cheeto is an axolotl this is rachel's pride and joy she just loves him to pieces they're a strange little creature um they're not quite an amphibian because they never really come out of the water i don't know if they can even live out of the water but oh where are you going <laughs> um but yeah, there, there he is. I, I don't know what else there is to say about uh, Cheeto. Cheeto the axolotl. He, I mean, he's kind of fun, but all he does is sit around and eat. That, that's it. That's the extent of this pet. And he watches us. 
He's blind. He don't watch nothing. <laughs> they are. They're blind. They sense things. Like if I tapped him right now, he would, you know, get all crazy thinking it was feeding time. But really, they, they're blind. And they live in the dark. And in the cold water. Well, there he is.